How do I create separate Apple IDs for two iPhones shared by family members? Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing how to create separate Apple IDs for two iPhones. This process is helpful when different family members are sharing iPhones, as it allows each user to have a separate ID for personalized settings, preferences, and content. What is an Apple ID and why you need one? First off, an Apple ID is your user identity in the Apple ecosystem. It allows you to access and use Apple services like iCloud, the App Store, iTunes Store, and more. It's important to have separate Apple IDs when sharing iPhones to ensure privacy and individual customization. How to create an Apple ID on your iPhone? Let's dive into the process. Remember, you'll need to follow these steps on both iPhones. 1. Open the Settings app on the iPhone. 2. Tap on Sign in to your iPhone at the top of the Settings list. 3. Tap Don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. 4. In the pop-up window, tap Create Apple ID. 5. Enter your birth date, first and last name. 6. Choose your current email address or get a new iCloud email address. 7. Enter your email address and create and verify your new password. 8. Choose and answer three security questions. 9. Agree to the terms and conditions. Congratulations! You've now created an Apple ID. How to sign out from one Apple ID and sign in to another. Now, if you want to switch between these newly created Apple IDs on your iPhones, follow these steps. 1. Go to Settings. 2. Tap on the Apple ID at the top of the screen. 3. Scroll down and tap on Sign Out. 4. You'll be asked to enter your Apple ID password to turn off Find My iPhone. 5. Once you're signed out, you can sign in to your iPhone with a different Apple ID following the steps mentioned in Section 2. And that's it! You now know how to create separate Apple IDs for two iPhones shared by family members. By using this method, you can maintain individual preferences, settings, and content on shared iPhones. Remember, it's always important to keep your Apple ID and password secure. Thank you for watching and I hope this guide has been helpful.